Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Murray. We're going to take a look at three transitions and I'm probably going to add a bonus one in there as well just for you guys. You can use them for your videos in After Effects or Premiere Pro and then you can actually use them in your stream. So like if you use Streamlabs, OBS or just OBS Studio, you can use them in that as well. So to switch over to this camera, that's what this transition looks like and we're just going to quickly switch into the other one. So if I just take away my screen here, and you can see what that transition looked like. Now we're actually here in After Effects. And uh, just to go over what these things are, uh, we're just going to take a look at the basic one first. This is just the basic transition. Uh, you, you notice that when it gets to the middle here, you can see the whole screen is covered, which is good. We need that for a transition. And then when it comes back out, the new video will be revealed. So you essentially, once the screen is covered, make a transition there. I'm sure you know how to use transitions. With the uh, circle transition here, you can change your logo here. So this is the logo, you just go into this, change whatever logo you want, then go back into your composition. It'll be updated already that, uh, I mean, there's motion blur, it's all nice. You can update any of these you want, change their color, change the text, do whatever you want really. You can change the colors as well. Um, and again, when the whole thing's covering the screen, you can make your transition. And then the next one we have is the shutter. This is probably my second favorite here. Um, change, you can change the colors to whatever you want with this adjustment layer. It's got controls there. Uh, the same with uh, the other ones here. Here's your controls if I unlock this. There's controls there for colors. And then for this one, I'm going to add in for that as well. So uh, with this with these controls here you can adjust any color you want and then obviously like before when everything is covering the screen make the transition in After Effects or Premiere Pro and then you can go and uh, you'll, you'll have your final scene revealed. And then I just have a spin transition which is a bonus. It's it's really all over the place. I haven't really organ organized it as much as the others but you can definitely see here that it's it's very unique and very cool inspired by a video copilot. Um, but yeah, so at the point where everything is covering the screen right over here, this is where you would make your transition. And uh, you can also take a look here where the timestamp is. So two, sec two, two seconds and 17 milliseconds. Um, you will see that the whole screen is covered. And uh, that's when the transition would happen. And I'll show you how to do these in Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio so you can get these transitions into your stream as well. Okay, and so now we're going to take a look at how to use these in your streaming software. Um, if you use OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, it's going to be exactly the same between the two software. So I'm just going to show you how to do it in Streamlabs. So if I open it up here. Okay, so here we are in Streamlabs OBS. Um, everything's going to be same in OBS Studio as well. So that's very nice. I'm just going to show you here. Uh, let's say you wanted to transition from this scene, which would be, I guess, whatever you want, your gameplay, your face cam, into this scene, right? So obviously it's just a cut, a plain old cut, and then it's just playing the video. So essentially what we need to do is uh, edit trans the transitions. So go to edit uh, scene transitions over here. This is the little button here. Um, and let's just add a transition. Let's, uh, I mean, name it whatever you want. So and we're going to change it from cut to stinger and duration uh, how long is the transition let's uh, you got to know which transition you're going to use before you go into this so I'm just going to do uh, 5000 uh, that's about five seconds so 5000 milliseconds 5000 seconds uh, five seconds uh, video file let's go ahead and put in those transitions that we had so uh, let's add this one, right? So there, and we got to know when the actual whole, the full screen is, is, uh, covering. So like when the transition is covering the full screen. So let's go back into after effects. Uh, so this is the, the circle transition. All right. So let's go back into after effects. Let's go to the circle transition and let's go to the point where everything's covered. So it's, let's see if we can go to a minute. Okay, so a minute in, the whole screen is covered, right? So let's go back. Oh, let's go back to Streamlabs here. And uh, one minute is one thousand seconds. Oh, sorry, milliseconds. So uh, one second, excuse me, is one thousand milliseconds. Now, when you put that in, that's when the transition from this scene 
to the next scene is going to happen. And that's going to be when the whole screen is covered so you don't see the screen change. Right? So let's click Done. And uh, let's select it because it hasn't been selected. Then we click Done. Now when we go to that next scene, it does that transition. And you see it in there. All right, so that's very cool, very neat. You do the same thing for the others, and let's say, uh, let's just uh, let's go back to this scene so this isn't distracting. So let's say when you go to your settings here, you want to add another transition. Uh, do this pretty much name it whatever you want. Change it to Stinger. Um, let's just make it five thousand just to be safe. Browse your video fi uh, file. Make sure you know how long it is until the whole screen is covered. Put that in in milliseconds and then click done and then what, what you can do is let's say one day you want to mix it up and have a different transition right so you select that transition click done and you can have that transition for the day and then you want to next day have a different transition you can have all your presets here just select them and click done and you you can essentially have so many different transitions limitless transitions you can use the ones that I've included or you can make them yourself or download them anywhere else um, so that's very neat. And I was, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Very powerful tools. Use them in your After Effects, Premiere Pro, or streaming software. Very neat. You can get them for free on the store. Just use the coupon FREE. You'll get 100% off. No credit card details needed or anything like that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing. I am going to be making more in the future. But until then, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.